hello guys welcome once again from this video I will be starting a new series for my SQL database in my previous tutorial on NetBeans Java I have used my SQL connection with my Java uh, program and most of the guys asked me about MySQL or SQL databases and what are they and how they can be used so from this I will be starting how to install my SQL database and in the further videos I will be showing how to use these databases so let's get started go to your browser and write my SQL and search and first link will open called www.mysql.com and we want to go to the download section of this MySQL website so I will click it and in here you will see MySQL community server, MySQL cluster, MySQL workbench. So we need a package of MySQL as a whole. So we will go to MySQL server community, click it, and in here. you can see mysql installer 5.5 for windows all mysql products for all windows platform in one package i will prefer this because this will install all the mysql package in one go so select your operating system or platform and then download this whole package if you want you can download these files separately and install every file separately also so I will click this download and it will download it so I have downloaded my installer and now I will install it so click it and it will take some time to start the installer and click run preparing to install installer is starting and it's gathering the requirements generally this takes the whole installation may take up to five minutes so be patient still it's going on so you can see it takes a little bit time to install now it's saying that please wait my SQL installer process the current operation and the installer opens so I want to install MySQL products click OK and if you agree with the license click I accept and click next and 
here just click execute and the operation is complete click next and in here I want the default developer default so I will click next and I want all these or my system require all these my SQL products so it will list out all the products which my system requires so I will click next and these are all the products so I will say execute and it starts processing one by one it will install every product for us most interesting part is my SQL server 5.5.29 at the time of making this video this is the latest server available and my SQL workbench this is a GUI tool for making the tables and executing the queries here so it's a very good tool for developers these all tools are also important maybe in future I will show you how to use them like this C++ connector connector for .NET and MySQL for Excel so we will start with using MySQL workbench first and then we will go to other products so it's installing so you can see it can take a few minutes to install all these softwares one by one connector ODBC is installing C++ C So one by one all the products which my, my machine requires will be installed. Nice build documentation, examples and complete so click next and in here this mysql server will be configured in, in the next step so click next check your port number generally i use these default configuration i want to use for com configuration type my development machine that is my computer I will click next and in here this is the most important part you need to give a password and the yeah password for your MySQL server so for simplicity I am giving it a password the root you can choose your own password which you can remember easily and I will click next and I want to use standard system account and Windows service name is MySQL 5.5 I will click next and it's installing or my servers is configuring and yes it's complete and then I will click next 
my samples and examples will be configured and I will click next once again and just finish your installation so in this way you will finish your whole package for my SQL and it will automatically launch my SQL workbench so in here you can see your workbench environment or GUI tool for your MySQL database in here what you want to do is go to this click this database and click this query database and it will show this box I want to set my password and my password is root once again I will click OK and then I will click OK so it will open my SQL workbench environment so here I am going to make new tables and new database and we will see how the queries are written and how the tables are made so I think the MySQL will provide one or two examples also for the databases like this Sakila it contains so many tables I will click actor and click edit table and it shows me the data so this is the default which is provided by mysql and the next video we will see how we can make our own database and how we can create our own tables so thank you very much for watching and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now